As labor shortages continue to impact the retail landscape, what technology investment can leaders make to reduce staffing needs? What technologies can help employees work more efficiently? With edge computing and kind of merging all these technologies together, you can automate the point of sale system, running that to the edge computing device. You can have your physical security and a smart AI camera to monitor theft. And then also but tie the POS system to the inventory tracking system where they're all communicating. They can spot when we're getting low, they can calculate run rate, know when to order new products more effectively, and just kind of have that real time management and having all that automated and less human interaction, you can manage a lot of locations from a centralized location or centralized headquarters. One of the things that we're starting to talk to our customers about is um, the importance of retaining the labor that you have and the importance of making those people feel good because you can get $20 an hour anywhere. In creating a, a feeling of teamwork, and the example that I've been using and talking with the retailers and they all seem to understand it and let's say you have 20 associates in a store and 10 of them have zero mobile terminals and 10 of them don't. How do you give them those tools so that they can be more productive, be part of the team and feel that they're equal in value to everybody else? And by giving the tools to the associates, you make them so much more powerful and you really make them feel that they are part of the team. We've obviously seen a huge growth in self-service. I mean, you're starting to see smart lockers move in. So it's taking some of those tasks that can be handled by technology that a traditional employee may have done in the past and then repurposing that employee to do some other high value job because you are paying a premium for headcount right now. So whatever you can task you can replace with technology and, and move that person to something else is a win for the retailers. It seems like the retailers that provide really solid training and have you know specific programs. Here's not only the employee handbook, but you know, here's how you do your job and and almost they, they mentor people with other people to say, okay, I'm, I'm gonna help you get better at your job. And what we're really encouraging is um, a gamification type training where you can do 30, 60 second videos, again, on devices, and you can have like a one question quiz at the end to keep them up to speed. The other thing that we're encouraging people to do is the Alexa Siri, the contextual voice. The example I've used, and I've been using this for a few years now, is you have a new associate, you've trained that associate, and you put the associate on the returns desk. They're not sure what the policy is, so what are they gonna do? They're either gonna ask co-worker, ask a manager, or guess. But, hey, Siri, what's our policy for a $25 return without a receipt? You don't lose your interaction with the customer was pretty yeah. quick with it. Yeah. So we're starting to see some companies build those types of what I'm calling contextual voice applications.